Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a problem involving Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law describes the relationship between the pressure and the temperature of a gas when the volume is kept constant. Using words, it could be described like this. If the temperature of a gas increases, the pressure of the gas will increase. Using an equation, Gay-Lussac's law can be described like this. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Basically, this is showing the relationship between two sets of conditions. The before conditions are represented by the ones, and then after some change occurs, the conditions are represented by the twos. This equation has four variables, and for chemistry homework, you are usually going to be given three of the variables, and then you'll solve for the fourth unknown variable. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. A cylinder of propane gas has a pressure of 4.38 atmospheres at 26.0 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure if the temperature is increased to 59.2 degrees Celsius? Before I start to solve a problem like this, I like to organize the information first. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says, what is the pressure? I like to also write in the symbol from the equation so I can keep track of everything. So P2, because this is going to be the pressure when the conditions change. Next, I'm going to use green to highlight the given information. The starting conditions are given first. There are 4.38 atmospheres of gas. That's P1. And the temperature is 26.0 degrees Celsius. That's T1. Remember that the ones are the starting or initial conditions. Then something changes. In this case, the temperature of the gas increases to 59.2 degrees Celsius. So that would be T2. Now I'm going to write the equation. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. I need to rearrange this equation to solve for the unknown, which is P2. So I have to get rid of T2 on this side and get it over to the other side. So I'll multiply this side by T2 to cancel it. Whatever I do on this side, I have to do to the other side of the equal sign. And so my equation would become P1 times T2 over T1. That's equal to P2. Now I can just plug in all the variables that I've already labeled in the question. P1 is 4.38 atmospheres, T2 is 59.2 degrees Celsius, and T1 is 26.0 degrees Celsius. I'll plug all of this into my calculator. 4.38 times 59.2 divide by 26. I'm going to round this answer to three digits because each of the given variables had three significant digits. And so my answer is 9.97 and the unit is atmospheres because that's the unit used for pressure. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.